Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgCO3 plus HClO4, magnesium carbonate, and this is perchloric acid. Perchloric acid is a strong acid. So the first thing we'll do, we'll balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and all we really need to do is put a 2 right here, and we've balanced this equation. After that, we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. So in general, carbonates are insoluble. Magnesium carbonate, that's insoluble. This perchloric acid, that's a strong acid, so it'll dissociate completely. Compounds with the perchlorate ion, very soluble here. So this is soluble. We have a liquid and then carbon dioxide, that's a gas. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that we don't split solids apart when we have these net ionic equations. So we kept the solid together there, and we don't split liquids or gases apart either in net ionic equations. So all of these substances we keep together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed. So we have two of these perchlorate ions in the reactants and in the products. These are spectator ions, we can cross them out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for MgCO3 plus HClO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the magnesium carbonate and the perchloric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two times one plus. So in the reactants, we have a two plus. Then in the products, we have this two plus here on the magnesium. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, their balance too. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.